This is the grand finale of my week. I'm so excited. I know you guys think that every day is the same on the farm, but we actually very intentionally make weekends different. On Saturday mornings, we actually kind of sleep in. We let the kids watch TV and we just go slow. And then on Sundays, if it wasn't for the coronavirus, we also, we don't sleep in because we have to get up, get chores done and get ready for church. And then we take a rest day all day Sunday. No, 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 no. What are you doing? It's the first time you've done that. There you go. And we love that. We love making our week kind of have some different um, days. Otherwise, it would just get so monotonous. So Monday through Friday, we treat like work days, just like work and school days, just like you guys, just like anyone that um, goes to a nine to five job, though Arthur actually does have a job. Um, it's not nine to five, but it's six to eight or something. <laughs> um, and then Saturdays just feel like this wonderful blessing of rest. And we just drink coffee together and talk and the kids watch cartoons. And then Sundays we get up and go and then we rest the rest of the day. Of course, since we haven't been going to church, Sundays are pretty restful because we just do chores and then play or read or <laughs> lay around all day. <laughs> We're going to the garden to plant some broccoli and cabbage. The kids are up here weeding their gardens. That's a, I asked them to do that today. I want them to keep it as weed free as possible and productive. And also fun of course. I found a little fungal, um, it's a puff ball, and I'm gonna have Bree open it on camera. I know what it looks like inside, and I want you to break it open all the way to the middle. I'm nervous. One layer at a time. What, I can't just bust it in half? You do it. It's slimy. Open it. I don't want to! <laughs> Come on, look. Inside there's this thing, and then you break, this is all slimy, and then you break this open. What is it? And there's goo in Ew, the Ew, <laughs> what is that? It's a puffball, I'm pretty sure. This looks amazing. I don't think we've ever had our garden beds look as incredible and beautiful. And just the soil is so dark and rich. All of the hard work that we've put into these gardens over the years is really starting to pay off. And then the tarps, look, no weeds. <laughs> Get that chicken out of my garden. No chickens allowed in the garden. Been there, done that. You are not welcome here. <laughs> the variety of broccoli we're planting is called Castle Dome. This is a hybrid variety. It is not an heirloom. And hybrid though is not the same thing as GMO. GMO is whenever they you go into a lab and genetically change the DNA of a plant. A hybrid variety is whenever you cross two different plants of the same breed, so two different varieties of broccoli together to create, to create um, a different variety. For instance, this variety of broccoli does well in the heat. We're planting broccoli a little late, so that's a good thing. It also has a nice big dome so that we're getting big heads of broccoli rather than little shoots 
Um, it's also an early harvest broccoli, which is what we wanted because I planted these a little late and then also I want to grow this broccoli and then I want to prepare this bed again and tarp it again for our next round of broccoli this fall. Hybrid is not a bad word. Now, if you do want to save seed, you absolutely cannot save seed from hybrids. Just like whenever we told you about the golden comet chickens that we were loving, even though they were a hybrid or a crossbreed of chickens, you won't get golden comet chickens if you, cross, if you breed a golden comet rooster to a golden comet hen. You just won't. So, if you're not saving seeds, hybrids are okay. If you're saving seeds, you really need um, true varieties and heirloom varieties. Hybrid and GMO are totally different things. What's your favorite fresh? Fresh greens are my favorite. I mean, the stuff from the store, as good as it is, it's like, has no flavor. We're gonna plant our cabbage now. We're just doing one 30 foot bed. This should plant about 40 to 48 cabbages. Um, we are doing the New York Superstar variety, and the only reason I'm doing that variety is because it was recommended to me at the greenhouse. Um, it's a larger head variety. Uh, it's really good for kraut. And this is all stuff the guy at the greenhouse told me, not from experience. Um, but what he told me that I thought was fascinating was that this is his favorite variety to grow to berry. So what he does every year is he grows his fall harvest or his fall crop of cabbage and then he buries it in the ground to store it. He digs a trench, he puts the cabbage heads in there and then he covers it up and then when he wants cabbage he goes out there and just digs one out. Um, he says it's also his favorite variety for sauerkraut. We won't be burying these because this is our summer crop or our spring crop but we will be making a lot of kraut with it. The cabbage we're gonna space further apart than the broccoli about 18 inches on the cabbage and that's because including the head the leaves can get really, really big. Even on a small cabbage, you can have leaves going out this far, so we're trying to give them plenty of space to grow. We're covering our broccoli and cabbage bed with plastic netting. We've tried to grow broccoli and cabbage for many years and not been successful until last year when we covered it with a row cover like this to keep out moth larva, which can devastate the plants. My parents are here. I haven't seen them in like two months, right? I don't think I've seen them for two months face to face. So they came out, they brought a load of mulch out. We're doing a little gardening. Good what is job, it? This is a tiny egg. A tiny egg, what do they call them? Berry eggs. Berry egg. This is the garden bed in the front of our house and it drives me crazy the way it looks right now because it's so disheveled. So Arthur's parents have graciously offered to help me get it cleaned up so that I can get it planted with beautiful things. Look what I found. What'd you find? A frog. A frog? I don't see it. I don't see the frog. Where is it? Are you serious? Yeah. It looks just like a piece of bark. That is incredible. Put it back on the tree and leave it. We're not going to all hold it. Oh, it just disappeared. Hmm. Where is it? Oh, It just disappears into the tree. You see the yellow stuff? Uh huh. And spell you and swags are yellow. That's right. It even matches the lichen on the tree. Fuck! No! Frog, get up! Frog, get up. You're right. This bed is pretty well done. We're gonna let it sit and not put wood chips on it today because I want to let all the grass and weeds grow up so we can get rid of them again. And maybe we'll put mulch on it for Mother's Day. Yeah, that sounds good. And then I can plant it. I have um, a bunch of stuff I want to put in here. I've already got it. So I'm excited about that. Nice t-shirt. Well, what are we having after supper? <laughs> Thanks to all the people who them. bought this t-shirt. Actually, quite a few people bought this in the past week. Oh, really? Yes, but we haven't mentioned it we for that. We have ever. We have supplies for all of the people. Well, this, this t-shirt's awesome. It's actually my favorite one. We and have all different colors. The design on the, this is, was the prototype, and the design on the current one that's up is a little bigger than this. Everybody in. Yeah. 
All right, come on out, guys. Let's go. There's the same snake again. There's that same snake, buddy. Oh, we'll get it. Oh, that's a different colored one. Yeah, it is. We're done with unloading mulch and those two truckloads did all these pads. We're not putting on super deep because this area is weed free and we just have a few little sections left. We're gonna pull this silage tarp back over these beds we haven't planted. Justice came up with this amazing idea to, um, to treat us to a little spa. So we have cold water for our feet and snacks and sparkling water. It's very nice. Do you love this, Grandma? We love it. <laughs> <laughs> and Joyful and Brighton have been helping. This was such a good idea. What made you think to do this? Because you're walking so hard and it's because hot outside. Whoa, that's incredibly, incredibly thoughtful. Are you fanning me? Thank you. Like fan hole of this, like really hard. And it'll really put wind on. Mom, watch. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna teach the goose to swim in the creek. Cause it's a warm enough day. Yeah, cause it's nice and warm today. <laughs> it's, swimming. it's swimming perfectly. Has it ever swam before? No. It swam. Geese, geese. Dare go with you? Oh yay! Did he dip? Yeah. Good job, dear. That's enough playing. And now time for some work. Wow, this is really long. We might need to cut it. I like this so much better than that fabric. Yeah, yeah this, this is, is really nice. Be more so the fabric we spent $50 and it lasted half of the season. <laughs> oh yeah, get that chicken out of my garden. Chicken. Where did you get this, Brianna? eBay eBay, I'm, I'm gonna get some. We are covering our brassicas to keep the moths from laying their eggs on them and then the little caterpillars from eating our food. This year we're actually using something different than we used last year. We used the like ag fabric last year and what we found was that it was not durable and it only lasted us one season and it cost $50. We didn't want to replicate that this year. So I actually found this really heavy duty um, bug fabric. What do you call it? Bug netting. <laughs> And I, I got this off of eBay and I'll link that below, but if you don't need the quantity that we're using, I will also give you an Amazon link where you can get smaller quantities if your garden's smaller. This is so beautiful. This is the only way we've ever found to grow brassicas organically. So it's extremely exciting. I feel like this is the grand finale of my week. I'm so excited. It has been another great day on the homestead. We'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.